Hello everyone and I'm glad to be back to say hello and make a video. It's been a long time since I've made one but I've been busy uh, with other things that have top priority right now in my life. But we're back again today with a lock for you. And this one happens to be the Abus uh, 346C and we can see that it is a has a security rating there of one and when I show you the lock now you will see why and I think that's fair a fair rating by Abus um, any higher than that would be a bit unrealistic in my opinion <clears throat> for what it's worth but if you have a look at that little picture there it might give you a clue as to why I believe that to be the case as you can see by the our beautiful little picture here that looks like a cable lock and that is because it is um, the 55 centimeter I'm not sure if that's talking about the come the total length of the lock itself or the cable <coughs> and the or not but I think that's what it is and the one 1.10 or whatever it is inches I'm not sure if that's referring to what if that refers to the cable or something, but it is what it is, folks. Um, as we can see here, it is a blue cable lock. Uh, it has this little thing that looks like a key. Uh, that is, of course, the combination. Yeah, it looks like 919, but it's actually 616. Uh, yeah, quite a sharp little piece of metal that. Uh, I actually wonder if you could, if you wanted to, actually, you could use, you could uh, modify this piece of metal into a combination lock decoding tool. Actually, that just came to mind right now. It's a little bit thick, but uh, yeah, I think you could do something with that if you really wanted to, just for fun. But here we have it, the ABUS cable lock here. Um, got some ABUS, ABUS branding there on the front. This piece here is a, feels like a rubbery plastic almost. The sheath here that covers the thin little cable is a rubbery um, plastic, blue plastic. And we can see we have three combination wheels uh, ranging from this what looks like a I think it's supposed to be a zero but it looks more like a nipple so it's three little nipples and then it goes from one to nine so yeah very basic wheel combination lock and this little lump over there of plastic is more like an index to tell you where to line up the combination. Um, I have decoded this before just so you know and no I didn't need the combination um, and yeah you can't as far as I can tell without I think even with the set disassembling this uh, combination lock I don't believe there's a way to really change the combination it doesn't advertise that as a thing you can do um, and yeah if you take this apart <laughs> Unless you have extra wheels, I don't really see any other way of changing the combination because if I line up the, let's say this wheel here, uh, there's only one cutout. So it doesn't matter if I change this wheel uh, by taking it apart. All I can really do realistically to change the combination is to either have it as 166 or 661 or 616 basically it's the only thing I can think of to change the combination if I wanted to so yeah I guess you could change the combination but you're very limited then it's not meant to be changed is the point anyway let's show you that this combination lock is working so just move it all to the combination which I said was 616 
and you can see it releases the cable and then it has these little teeth in here um, I'm not sure what kind of metal this is I presume it's something cheap and uh, like it could be zinc or something I really don't know but it has these little teeth here and those teeth are where the wheels um, they they have a little what do I call it the inside of the wheel anyway it uh, goes inside of each of the three wheels they have a piece that an inner wheel a part of the inner wheel that's uh, lines up with these and where the gap is in each of the wheels um, there's obviously a space there so these teeth are then free to move out right but as long as that gap excuse me as long as that gap in these on this uh, locking part of the um, wheel is not in the right lining up here with these teeth you cannot pull this out and I'll just try and show you with the first wheel there in the front so you can see at the moment they are all um, lined up with the right combination and if I move the, the wheel you can see the inner wheel if I turn it either way it will block block you from And pulling that t that tool, <laughs> the tool. Uh, I'll just call it the bolt because I really don't know what we call it. But uh, yeah, it allows that bolt to pass through. And I don't see any other any other spaces which would say there are no false gates. Yeah. So same thing for each wheel. When the right combination is dialed in, you can pull that bolt free and you can see there's a little clip there I would presume I pull that clip off you can take all the wheels off disassemble the lock maybe change it to one of the other three combinations or the possible combinations and then yeah uh, you, that's how it's assembled pretty straightforward and yeah let's just put this guy back on here Ramble the wheels and we'll decode this thing. So let me do that now. So to decode this, it's very straightforward. So I just pull on one end in one direction and I'll pull on the other side in the other direction. And you're gonna have to take my word for it now. I'm gonna look away and also I'll have this facing away from me. But yeah, we're gonna now try to find the combination so I'll just begin over here with this wheel and I will try to zoom in for you a bit more and hopefully we can stay focused right so pulling on one end and the other end in the opposite direction I'm going to start turning these wheels and looking for the most rigid or the one that feels like it's the hardest to turn so that one there feels like it's possibly in the right position this middle one doesn't seem to make any difference and no matter which way I turn it this one here feels like it's binding so I will turn him so I think he's in the right position and then I'll try this one okay he when I turned him one position there he felt like something moved on the the bolt I should say I think we might be in the right position let's just check these other wheels um, okay I think this middle one is now in the right position I'm going to try this one just release pressure turn that wheel once and then apply pressure again Okay, I think he might be in the right position now because I felt a little bit more pull or give on this bolt so I think that might be the right spot for him I'm going to turn this wheel one position and then I'm going to pull again and we'll see what happens now okay uh, he might be in the right position just check okay good so let's try 
try the middle one here. He feels like he's got a bit of give. He feels like he has a bit of give. All right, so I'll try this guy, this first one again. Let's see what happens. So I'll turn it one spot and then let it work it and then move this one again just in case I'm able to free it. And now it's stuck there. Maybe let's try this guy again. All right. Just check these wheels. Check them. Feels like this rubbery part of the lock is slipping away, which makes it a little bit more tricky to hold. But anyway, let us start with this one again. <clears throat> so, applying pressure, okay, it's very stiff to try and turn that one. Let me try this wheel again. Not much I can do in terms of moving it. Let's try this wheel again. Not much I can do in terms of moving that. So what I'm going to do is let off the pressure where in terms of how I'm pulling the cable in different directions. So I'll let those cables or I'll reverse. What am I trying to say? I will reverse the, I'll take off the tension, the pulling tension in either direction and allow the, you know, the two ends of the cable to come together again. That will allow me to to move these wheels on position. So I'll do that now. And then we'll apply that pulling pressure on again and see what we can do. Okay. Okay, this middle one is oh, it's kind of tricky to say. I'll move this middle one, yeah? Let's see what happens now if I move it. Hmm. Now they're all kind of binding. Let's move this one, one position. Pull. Try and turn this. Get stuck over there. Oh, let's try this guy. Stuck there. Ah. Let's try to move him in position. And this lock does not want to play ball. Uh, if you don't mind, I'm just going to hold it like this for now. Alright, excuse me. those wheels one position and then apply the pressure ah. see here okay okay this one that one About this one. I'll try it again. Alright, let's try this guy. Move in one position. Well, he moved a little. Again, get stuck there. This guy you can see we're pulling, <laughs> pulling the sheath off of the cable a bit. Okay, try this guy. bit uncomfortable when you're pulling on the on the cable when this sheath falls back or yeah gets pulled away and then you've got, got to try and hold on to the what's left of that
cable. Okay, then I'll just turn this wheel, try again. getting out of frame stuck there oh boy difficult to read this right now and <laughs> my fingers are getting tired too uh, I'm just gonna swap this around Pull from the other side for a change why not okay let's move this wheel let's try let's put that guy in position middle one there and that is the middle one uh, it's a little bit tricky getting I think that one's in position. Maybe that one's in position. Let's try this guy. Okay, let's try this middle one. Try this one. What are we on right now anyways? Um, so far we're th over there, so we're not on the right combination anyway. I'm going to just zoom out so I don't have to worry so much about getting this out of frame. Let's scramble these again and try over. So starting from the first one, why not? Ah, man. I'll just leave that there for now. Oh, boy, this. See what we get. Let's try this one. Let's just move him another position. See if we get any feedback elsewhere. Okay, I think he might be in the right position now. Let's try. What happens? Maybe try this one again. Yeah, I think that might be the right one. Lighting on this can really have an effect on the focus of the camera, so I do apologize when that happens. I find it a bit difficult though to, with this sheath, though, just to keep that pressure on that you need. Get this thing to work. Oh yeah, in terms of applying the correct tension. Okay, let's just put more 
pressure on there. Okay, I'll leave that one there. Let's try this guy here. See what he does. Uh, not much. Let's try this one. Uh, try the middle one. Feels like it's much looser now. This guy feels like he's binding harder. I am not looking folks so hopefully this convinces you I mean if I was looking I could just look at the combination and pretend I was guessing this or something um, I'll check the this one again That's right. Let's just move through all the positions here. Here. Okay, I think that's good. Maybe that's good. Maybe that's good. That's the only problem. We'll wiggle these wheels and just see if we are actually in a good place. I'll just move this one in position. Try. Okay, that one I'm happy with. Let's try this middle one again. Whoa, okay. Finally, we got that open. So, yeah, obviously there we have 616, which we know is the combination. Just put it the right way around. So 616, as we know, that's the combination. Uh, based on this little key here, it has our combination on it. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much... Um, decoding one of these cable locks. Now, I, I honestly find it easier when I don't have to put it in front of a camera and I can hold it in any well, any position I need it to be, to be in. So, if I hold the lock closer to my body, I'm able to apply pressure, pull the pulling pressure on, on this lock better, then it's, well, I find it easier. But anyway, we got the lock open, and uh, yeah, the weaknesses of this lock, I think it's again fair to say that this is a level 1 rated lock, because there's your cable, if the camera allows us to actually look at the cable. See there, it's not as thick as this rubbery sheath will let you think it is. There's the actual thickness. So don't be deceived in the thickness of this cable, thinking it's quite thick, it really isn't. And yeah, cable locks can be cut real easy, so what would you use this lock for, you might wonder, is, is anyone's guess, but I would say to maybe lock a bike helmet to your bicycle or something, something of low value but I wouldn't trust this to lock my whole bike and even for a low security application um, yeah I mean you could lock your wheel to your frame but don't rely on this to keep your bike um, secure that's all I'll say because I don't trust these um, right in the next video I will see if I can exploit possible weakness in this and um, that weakness I would say is the strength of the locks of this part of the lock I think this can be twisted and actually snapped 
where it's joined to this. So I'm going to try and see if we can get this to fracture with a twist attack. And yeah, we'll do that in the next video. So see you there. Thanks.